Hello and welcome to another video in our tutorial series. Today we are going to be looking at using Academic Search Complete, ProQuest Central, and some of the other proprietary databases that the library subscribes to to help you with your research. So to begin with, uh, we're going to access those databases by going to Oakwood's home site, oakwood.edu, and then scrolling down, go ahead and click on the Library tab. This will take you to the databases portal. And if you go to ProQuest Central here, we get to sign in. Uh, we skipped this step because I already signed in previously, but there will be a window before this one uh, prompting you to log in with your Oakwoods credentials. So just use the same uh, username and password that you use for your email, and you will have this screen here. Now you can go ahead and search for articles uh, as usual. Uh, let's just say stem cell research, uh, and you can see that your results get pulled up as they usually would. That looks nice and familiar. Uh, you can also see your filters over here on the left side. You can filter it by publication dates. Let's say we only want ones in the last five years. That brings it down to a more manageable size of selections. There we go. Uh, let's also say that I only want peer-reviewed journals or peer-reviewed articles. There we go. Uh, so you also see here we have the tab for ebooks. I can toggle between articles and ebooks. So let's go ahead and say uh, that I don't have time right now to look at all of these articles, but I do like the results that I'm getting, so I want to go ahead and save them somehow so I can peruse the articles later. The way you can do this is by signing up for a ProQuest account, and Academic Search Complete has a similar setup, but I'll show you how to do it here in ProQuest, uh, and then it'll be easy enough for you to do the same thing over in Academic Search Complete. So so to sign in to a ProQuest account, or rather to create one, you're going to go up here uh, to sign into my research. And then we're going to wait for a little bit. There we go. Uh, and if you're new to my research, uh, then you will create an account over here. It'll lead you through that pretty intuitively. Uh, but I already have an account, so let me sign into that. And show you some of the um, capabilities of this. So you can see here uh, there's all sorts of articles on Richard III that I've already searched for and saved, um, but let's go back and repeat our stem cell research search so that we can uh, save some results. So we're going to go here, peer-reviewed, and then we're going to limit it by year again. There we go, that brings it down. Um, and then let's say uh, that I like the looks of that result, and also this article, and also these three. There we go. So I want to save those few articles. So I checked those checkboxes there, and then I'm going to go over here to More and Save My Research. Now you can also see these other options down here. If you use a citation management software such as RefWorks or Mendeley or Zotero, uh, you can use this selection to export those citations. Uh, so you can just plug them in really easily to your citation management software. But I do not want to do that today. I'm just going to save it to my research. So we click that. And let's say I want to create a new folder called Stem Cell Research. Whoop. There we go. Uh, and we're not going to nest that folder in my Richard III folder. We're going to give it its own location. So we now have a new folder called Stem Cell Research. And let's double check to make sure that is there. There we go. Okay. So I now have a new folder called Stem Cell Research, and it has my six articles in there that I saved. 
So that is an easy way uh, to just throw results into a folder so you can look at them more fully later. There's nothing more frustrating than constructing this elaborate search and getting some great results, um, but not having the time to look at them in depth as you're, you're researching. Um, so this is a good way to collect them all in one place so you can peruse them at your leisure. I hope this has helped. If you have any questions about this or another database, I hope you will contact me at rbrothers at oqua.edu. Uh, my name is Rebecca Brothers. I am the Media and eResources Librarian, and I would love to help you navigate this kind of thing more fully. So drop me a line. Thanks so much. Bye.